All right, guys, it's Retro Steve, back with another video. I thought tonight I'd show you my PlayStation handhelds. Um, before I get started, though, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave me some comments, guys, and I'll keep making videos for you. So without any further ado, here we go. All right, so first off, I got the PlayStation Portable. This is the 1000, which is the first one. Uh, I do have the box for it. Um, one of the larger boxes for handhelds. Not the prettiest box, but um, still glad to have it. And then my PSP isn't the prettiest. Um, it's got a little ding over here. It's got some scratches on the face, but... I uh, got it for a good deal. It works perfectly fine. She's got some scratches back here. So I will eventually pick up a nicer one. Um, but for now, this one, like I said, works just fine. Everything works perfectly. It's just cosmetically slightly flawed. So, But uh, it is what it is. Um, at least I have one. I can play it. And uh, I've got some pretty cool games for it. So I will show you guys those. All right, so to start off, I've got EA Sports Fight Night Round 3. Can't go wrong with a boxing game. They're always fun. Um, this one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played Fight Night before, but uh, yeah. I got NCAA Football 2010. Again, pretty self-explanatory, but I do love football games and sports games of all types, so. R-Type. Um, this was in one of my pickup videos. This game by Atlas is a lot of fun. If you've ever played any of the R-Type games, uh, they're a must-have if you love side-scrolling shooters, which I do. Uh, this is a really pretty game, a lot of fun, and um, I love R-Type on any console. And um, Atlas makes some, some pretty fun games, so got to have some R-Type. MLB The Show. I do love baseball games also. This one is a lot of fun. Tiger Woods 09. Gotta have a Tiger game. Especially now that he won the Masters again. He used to sit and play Tiger for hours. Um, can't even tell you how many days worth of hours I spent playing Tiger Woods, but... Um, these games are great. FIFA Soccer 2010. Soccer games are some of my favorite games to play as far as sports go. Um, love FIFA. And these games are always a blast. So, as you can see, there's kind of a trend going. Mostly sports games for this. Madden 2011. Gotta have a Madden game. Alright, finally moving out of the sports games, I got Dead to Rights Reckoning. I always like playing the Dead to Rights games. This one's a lot of fun. You've got your canine to help you out. Uh, this is a pretty cool game. Medieval Resurrection. Um, anybody that's played the original Medieval game knows how these games are. Um, quirky, goofy, but a lot of fun. Um, really well done. This one stays just in line with as the uh, as the other Medieval games. Um, this one's a really cool game, though. It's a lot of fun to play, and uh, glad to have this one. 
God of War, Ghost of Sparta. God of War is a great game. Hack and Slash. This is a good one to have. Daxter. Another goofy, fun game. Kind of like a Conker's Bad Fur Day, but not quite as as uh, mature as that. Um, but a fun game to play. And then last but not least, Tron Evolution. I am a huge fan of the Tron games. Um, I love the movies. Grew up watching the original Tron. Tron Legacy was awesome. Um, I actually own that in 3D. Um, I love all of the Tron games. I know most of them are pretty bad, but I still love them nonetheless. And I especially love the light cycles and the disc games. Um, just a slick looking cover. Uh, I've got a few Tron games actually for different consoles, but this one's pretty cool. And those are my PSP games and my PSP system. So let me set these to the side real quick. All right. Then I've got the PS Vita, the version, the second version, the Slim. Uh, do not have a box for this one, unfortunately. But um, I am looking to pick up the first edition PlayStation Vita with the OLED screen. Um, and I will end up finding one in the box. Might even go with the light blue version. Um, but um, this <laughs> is a great system. It's got some scratches on the back. But um, overall, the front looks nice. Um, this is... A great system to play, beautiful screen, great graphics, feels really good in the hand. Um, just a great overall system. I thought I wasn't really going to like it when I bought it. Uh, I thought the 3DS was going to be a lot better than this, but in all actuality, they are two different systems, but this does stand alone, um, and it is... Uh, an excellent system to play games on. So, um, I'll show you some of the games I've got for that. My collection's not as extensive as some of my others, but I've got some good games though. So again, uh, another FIFA game. I love FIFA soccer. I grew up playing soccer, so I love to watch soccer. I love to play soccer games. I'm a huge fan, so I don't think I need to say anything else about that one. Little Big Planet for the Vita. Really cute game, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably played Little Big Planet for the PlayStation or even on the Vita. Um, same thing, just on the smaller screen. But you gotta love Sackboy. Tearaway, um, obviously from the creators of Little Big Planet. This one's a really fun game. Uh, utilizes the touch screen on the back in really cool ways. Um, this one actually uses a lot of the different uh, capabilities of the Vita, like the motion sensor, the microphone, the rear touch pad, um, the camera. It's a really cool game. Uh, a lot of fun to play. So, tear away. Again, like I said, I like baseball games and sports games, so had to get an MLB The Show, which looks fantastic on the Vita, I might say. All games look really pretty on that. I've heard they look even better on the um, OLED screen on the first edition, um, so I'm, I'm excited to eventually pick one of those up. Injustice, Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. Um, fighting game for those of you that haven't played it. If you haven't played it, this is a, a great game to play. Um, kind of like Mortal Kombat meets DC Universe meets everybody. 
basically. It's just uh, a lot of fun. Speaking of Mortal Kombat, this one's got Freddy Krueger and Kratos. Self-explanatory there. Everyone's played Mortal Kombat at least once in their life or know somebody who has. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. This is basically PlayStation's answer to Super Smash Bros. All different PlayStation characters battling on screen at the same time. Obviously, you got Rappa Parappa. Daxter, some of uh, PlayStation's most iconic characters. But yeah, this is basically the exact same thing as Smash Bros, but on the PlayStation. And of course, Big Daddy. Love Big Daddy. And then my last PlayStation game is actually a limited run game called Hue. This copy is sealed. Um, anytime you get a limited run game, if you can find it sealed, keep it sealed. Um, the majority of their games are only released, depending on the game, um, 3,000 to 5,000 copies of each. Um, I'd like to pick up some more limited run games, um, but right now this is the only one I have. And this is, um, I have obviously not been able to play it, but it is a side scroller where you have the ability to change things to different colors, different hues um, in this color spectrum. And that, as you change the colors, helps you change the level and the board that you're on to help you progress. Um, so kind of like a puzzle 2D side scrolling game of sorts. But, um, this is my PlayStation Vita collection. Like I said, it's kind of small at the moment, but I have so many collections going on that I never just buy a bunch of games for one thing. I always try to spread the love over all of my consoles. So there is the Vita. And then last <laughs> is something a lot of you guys might have never heard of. It is the PlayStation Pocket Station. Um, this is the crystal version. They also had a white version. Uh, this one is from Japan. Um, these are somewhat rare. You don't see a lot of them in the United States. Um, basically, what this is, is a memory card slash... Um, mini console although it does not take cartridges what it does is you would plug this into your memory card slot on your PlayStation 1 and then when you're playing certain games and you save a game onto this you can take this with you and then you can actually play mini games on this on the go. And when I say mini games, I mean mini games, very minimal games, just a simple LCD screen. Um, but uh, they're really cool. There's only, I believe, two American games that this will even work with. Uh, one of them being Final Fantasy eight i think i could be wrong on that um and then i'm not even sure what the second game is other than that this is pretty useless in the united states um it was a lot more popular in japan it worked with a lot more games on the japanese console but as far as the american console goes yeah basically only two games so not a very useful piece to have in the collection but when you have a collection with 50 handheld consoles like I've got, you have to have anything you can get your hands on. So I'm glad to have this with the box. Um, and 
that makes up the last of my PlayStation handhelds. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and um, keep checking out the videos, guys. I'd appreciate it. And y'all have a good one. I'll see you soon.